If you have an iPhone 15 and you love to take photos and videos with it, but you notice that you're running out of space really quickly, or if you're a content creator like me and you like to use your phone to record videos, and then all of a sudden you realize you have 330 gigabytes of photos and videos on your phone that you need to unload somewhere, this product is definitely for you. Today we're going to be testing out the Acasis EC6609 Air. This is a 2230 NVMe enclosure that uses USB 3.1 and can transfer 10 gigabits per second. And to give you some perspective, that means it can transfer a one gig file in one second. It also supports up to a two terabyte capacity. It's compatible with M key, M plus B key, and the form factor is 2230. It also supports shooting 4K at 60 Hertz ProRes video outdoors. It's also MagSafe compatible, so it sticks directly to the back of your iPhone, so you don't have to worry about those dangling SSD drives anymore. It also has a tool-free installation, an all-aluminum design, and it's very compact and lightweight. Now, if you guys do want to pick this up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And I also want to thank Acasis for sending this out to me so I could do this review for you guys today. And even though this is specifically made for iPhone 15, you can also use it with a wide variety of other systems such as Linux, Windows, Android, and Mac OS. And make sure you stick around until the end of the video because I will be testing out with my Mac Studio and my Windows PC. Now this is just the NVMe enclosure, so you will need to purchase the 2230 NVMe drive separately. And today we're gonna to be testing it out with the Western Digital Black SN770M NVMe. This drive is way faster than what the NVMe enclosure can handle, but I know it works well with Mac OS. Here's our manual. We get some rubber posts and some thermal pads. Here's our USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable and the drive itself. So here is the Acasis Air. As you can see, it is pretty small and compact. Again, it is very solid, made of all aluminum. We have a little status LED here as well as a USB Type-C port. And on the bottom, it's got this kind of plastic texture so it won't scratch up your phone when you connect it to your iPhone using MagSafe. And because the Acasis is so small, you can stick your phone with the Acasis drive inside your pocket so you don't have to carry it around or even just drop it into a book bag. And because it's got magnets inside, you can stick it to things that are metal. And like I mentioned before, it's got a toolless installation design. Very cool. You just simply pull up on the top here. It pops off. You put in your NVMe drive, put it on the little rubber post, and then put the top back on and you're all set. So as I mentioned before, it has a very easy installation. All you need to do is get your NVMe drive. We're gonna take one of the little thermal squares and then make sure you take that little square and you put it over the chip on your NVMe drive. You can see where it starts underneath that sticker. So kind of place it the best you can over that. So it should look something like that. Once that's done, you're gonna take your little rubber stopper. You're gonna place it in that little notch of your NVMe drive, just like that. Then we're gonna place this into the little slot on our NVMe drive. It's kind of NVMe enclosure, kind of like on an, a little angle, just like this, press it into place. And then all you need to do is simply press down on the M NVMe drive until the little rubber notch goes into the hole and you're all set Then just put the top back on press down and you're all done now before we can use this drive with our iPhone we need to plug it into whatever system we're going to be using to format the drive so I'm going to plug this into my Mac studio and I'm going to format the drive into a format that the iPhone can read so now let me show you how to format your drive using your Mac. So I'm gonna plug this directly into my Mac Studio. Then we'll go into our disk utility. We're gonna make sure you select the Acasis Air. Then we're gonna to go to Erase. And to do the ProRes recording, I would definitely recommend using the APFS format. You can name it whatever you want. I'll name it a Casis. And 
and then we'll hit erase. So now it's done formatting, you can eject it from your Mac Studio and plug it directly into your phone to start the recording. So once you have the drive formatted, you can simply just plug it directly into your iPhone 15 and then clip it right onto the back. It's got a very strong magnetic hold and you don't have to worry about the drive pretty much ever falling off your phone case or your phone unless you want to take it off. So then we'll go into our Files app on our phone, and as you can see, the Acasis Air now shows up in our location. So now you can move files, photos, videos, or anything else you need directly onto the drive. So now we're going to be doing a speed test to see how well the drive works with recording some ProRes 422 at 4K. We're going to be using the OWC Drive Speed app for the iPhone. It's going to be simulating uh, using a ProRes 422 and 4K at 30 frames per second, and the duration is going to be one minute. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, we have zero dropped frames, so the drive has absolutely no problem with you recording directly to it using the ProRes 422 at 4K, 30 frames per second. So now if you wanna use your iPhone to record video directly onto the Acasis NVMe drive, you're gonna to need to do a couple things on your iPhone first. So first, we're gonna go into our settings. We'll go into our camera. We need to go into formats. And then you need to make sure you have Apple ProRes turned on and select your encoding. Then we'll go back to our camera app. And at the top, you'll notice that you'll have a little ProRes uh, icon at the top here and it's got a line through it. Now, we're gonna need to turn that on so you can record directly to the drive. So it just turned on. And as you can see, it shows that we're recording directly to the USB type C at the bottom here. And we have a max time of 179 minutes for recording. Now that's at 4K 24 frames. If we change it to 30 frames per second, you notice that the max time changes now to 144 minutes. And at 60 frames per second, we get 72 minutes. I'm going to be recording at 30 frames per second. So now I'm gonna go record a one minute video. We'll play it back and we'll see how it recorded. So I just recorded a one minute video in the ProRes. Now I'm going to attach the drive to my Mac Studio. We'll transfer that file and we'll see what it looks like. So there it is on the drive. Go into our cases. There's the folder. Here's our file. And the file is about 6.2 gigs. So now I'm gonna transfer the file onto my hard drive of my Mac Studio and we'll see how long it takes. About five seconds. So it's about one gigabyte per second transfer. Now let's take a look at the video file and see how well it recorded. All right, so here we are recording some outside video. As you can see, it is an absolute beautiful day. There's really no clouds in the sky whatsoever, super bright. So this is taking up as much recording as you're gonna get in an outside setting. We're at about 20 seconds right now. Just trying to tr capture as much as I can to see how well this is going to record onto the NVMe enclosure. Beautiful day. Got some doves over on the fence there. If you like to hike or do anything outside today would definitely be the day. All right, so we're about at one minute. So the video file looked perfect. I didn't see any drop frames. The recording was excellent. So now let's do some speed tests while it's connected up to my Mac Studio. So I'm gonna use the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test. It does have the one file on there, but that is about it. And we'll start the test.
So as you can see, we're almost getting about 1,000 megabytes for our write and 857 for the read. So definitely not bad at all. So as you can see, the disk speed test is telling us that it can do ProRes 422 high quality all the way up to 8K 24 frames. So doing 4K at 60 frames per second shouldn't be any issues. And as you can see, these speeds are pretty much maintained throughout the test. So that's definitely a plus. Now let's see how fast that same file can transfer back onto the Acasis. It seems like it's about the same transfer rate, even though it's just a little bit less, it's not that noticeable. All right, so now let's plug the drive into my PC. All right, so I just had to format the drive because I was previously using it on my Mac, but now as you can see, it is showing up on my PC. So we're gonna open that up. Now here I have an 18.6 gigabyte file. I'm gonna transfer that to the Acasis and we'll see how long it takes. It should theoretically ta take only about 19 seconds. So the system is saying about 25 seconds. It's still not that bad. All right, so not bad at all. As you could see, the file transfer speeds were pretty consistent and it wasn't that long to transfer an 18.6 gigabyte file onto the drive itself. Now I'm gonna transfer the file back onto my PC and the speeds should be a little bit better. Wow, <laughs> that literally only took about four seconds, super quick. So now here we have the crystal disk marked speed test. So we're gonna test the drive itself. I'm gonna select the Acasis drive here. There's the Acasis. And we'll start the test. So as you can see, it created a folder on the Acasis for the speed test. All right, so as you can see, we're getting 1062 for the read and 1037 for the write. That is absolutely amazing. So you're definitely getting the performance that Acasis is saying you should get from the enclosure on your PC. So you can see that it does perform pretty well on Mac OS and it seems to perform even a little bit better on PC. So I'm definitely impressed with the performance of this little drive. Now the Acasis does work with other NVMe drives other than the Western Digital that I showed you in this video. I just chose that because I know the Western Digital NVMe's work well with Mac OS. So the Acasis Air definitely seems to perform as well as Acasis says it would, even a little bit better on PC from what we saw from the numbers. So whether you're looking to record ProRes video from your iPhone directly onto an external drive or just get some of those videos and photos from your iPhone to expand your storage or just use this as a storage solution for your PC or Mac, I would definitely recommend checking out the Acasis Air. And again, if you guys want to pick this up, I will be putting product links in the video description. And if you guys enjoyed the video, it would really help out the channel if you gave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.